channel it's your girl baby girl og i am back with another video welcome if you are new hi and guess what i want you to subscribe and click that post notification bell but if you are a returning subscriber hey guys welcome back y'all must be a real baby boy or a baby girl because y'all are returning and for all my peoples out there that's viewing this Hey guys, how you doing? Hopefully your week has been good or your day has been amazing. And today we will be talking about middle school advice. Middle school advice. Sixth, seventh, and eighth. That's my middle school go-to. Well, my old middle school. I'm not in middle school. But before we get into this video, I'm going to need y'all to like, comment, and subscribe really y'all don't even have to comment i always ask folks to comment but if you have some extra advice that you want to you know put out there comment comment below comment below let me quit acting retarded mental okay but before we get into this video i really need y'all to subscribe and click that post notification bell to be notified every single time i post and yeah let's get into this video all right y'all I really always had a lunch book in this video. I just didn't put it in my intro or whatever. But, y'all, I'm finna be eating while I'm doing this video. So, yeah, if you want to call the mukbang, call the mukbang. But, baby, a sister gonna eat. First, we gotta start off the main key of middle school. Let me tell you right now, the way you enter middle school will be the way you will be for the rest of your life. I mean, you you ain't got to believe me, but best believe the way you enter middle school will be the way you are for the rest of your life. I'm going to tell y'all why. All right, let's say your school, we're going to say your school wear uniform. If you wear uniform and you're a girl and you wear your skirt too high, or, you know, you always trying to be fast. You will be fast the rest of your life. I'm I'm just telling y'all the truth. The way you enter middle school will be the way the rest of your life will be. You know, if you always trying to, you know, be fast, talk to boys, you will be known as that the rest of your life. So, enter middle school the way you want to be known the rest of your life. Don't mind my big coat. And that's, like, that's serious. I know people right now that when they were in middle school, 6th grade, they were fast. And guess what they are now? Fast. And known as fast. I'm not going to say no names, but the people out there know who I'm talking about or whoever they talking about. I mean, that's the truth, though. The way you enter middle school will be the way you will be the rest of your life. Um, And let's say you don't wear uniform. Let's say you have, you know, no dress code. My middle school... And have a dress code. If you come to school dressed like you grown, your teachers will think that you grown, and they will. I'm. You could be the sweetest girl, but if you are fast, your teachers will look at you as a fast. No, <laughs> y'all know the word. Y'all parents have said it. A fast. <laughs> so yes, and that's the truth, though. I'm giving y'all the straight spilling tea. My teachers, my teachers in middle school. They would be like, oh, like, they talk about kids. Y'all don't believe it, but teachers talk about kids. They don't get in trouble for it. They got freedom of speech. They talk about who they want to talk about. But when they go in them little meetings with they sales and, you know, they look, teacher buddies, they will talk about two children. I have seen it happen before. And that's just the truth. Secondly, I'm telling you, middle school would be so fun. It's just going to be the best time. I mean, elementary going to be real fun. But middle school going to be fun because right before you go to high school and right after you just left elementary. So, sixth grade year, it's going to be easy. You probably, you know, going to do a little this, a little that. You're going to mostly learn your little times tables. Depending on where you are, you may already learn them. But you probably going to, like, go over it. Go over, you know, your double, triple digit, multiple, I mean, not, well, not multiplication. Um, addition, subtraction, dividing, like, you'll do a lot of that. Um, mainly, you will get, like, 
you will get pinpointed on a lot. So let's say y'all go on a field trip. They'll probably be like, oh, sixth grade, y'all need to act good because if y'all don't, y'all not going nowhere else. That's how it is because y'all are the babies and everybody going to look at y'all like, oh, they the ones that do all that talking. Like, y'all going to probably be very childish still. Y'all not mature and all that. So, like, y'all just going to be like, oh, these baby kids, basically. That's what y'all going to be looked at. That's true. That's how I looked at sixth graders. Like, they be doing the most. Like, we wasn't even in the same hallway as them. But they still did the most. You get what I'm saying? Um, you'll probably be fighting a lot. That's just the truth. Me, personally, I went to a small school for my sixth grade year. So, I was never in a fight with nobody. I mean, everybody knew each other. Everybody was cool. You know, you had some people that... I wouldn't call it beef. What do you call it? Didn't like each other, I mean, but they kept their distance at that school. But yeah, you'll, I'm not going to say you'll find out who your friends are. You'll meet friends. You will not have them in 8th grade or ninth grade. I'm going to tell y'all that for sure. You may have some of them, but that whole big old 13 of y'all group y'all got, it ain't going to be there. It's going to break down about 2-3 of y'all. Mm, what else? Oh, in sixth grade, start, if you, all right, let's say this. If you want to make it to ninth grade and be like, have all straight A's, have good grades, you need to start there. Sixth grade is where you need to start. If you, like, get C's in sixth grade, you will get C's in ninth grade. 8th grade, 7th grade. And I'm telling y'all this from the, like, just the truth. Because me, I got my first, I got my first C in 6th grade. I got C's ever since. But ninth grade, it's like at the end of ninth grade, I decided, like, you know, I'm going to change that. I'm not going to keep getting C's and all that. And, you know, it was hard. It was a hard change. But, you know, if I would have started that in 6th grade, I wouldn't have had that problem. And that's really from me knowing other people. Like, this one boy, he got straight A's his whole life. I don't think that boy has ever got to be on his actual report card. And he been getting them, like, since what? Probably, heck, whenever they start giving you grades. So, I mean, how you start is how you will finish. So, yeah. And I'm going to do 7th grade now. 7th grade, you know, that's where you start. Now, I'm not, I ain't going to say manly up or, you know, being a woman. But you're probably going to start your menstrual if you're a woman in 7th grade. If not, you probably start in 6th grade. But so, yes, you are a lady now. And what you need to do is you need to make sure you are together. Because I'm telling you, get yourself a name. Baby, that name's sticking with you. I'm telling you. And that's, uh, like, I'm telling y'all the truth. Like, we called this one boy Pissy. Pissy, because he can't smell like pee. Guess what we still call him today? Pissy. Like, that's how it is. Like, if you, you start off like that, that's how you will finish. Like, so, for my girls out there, baby, if you... If you get your little period, your menstrual, whatever you want to call it. I'm telling y'all the real word and the little kitty word. Period. But if you get that, make sure you clean up. Because, honey, you don't want to be known as stinking. Y'all better ask this one girl. I'm telling y'all, y'all want to be known as that. That's not cute. So, you know, bring yourself a perfume or something. Like, make sure you are up to par. Because, honey. If you ain't got the right friends, they will let you go around smelling like that. And they won't say nothing to you. And I'm telling you, somebody, when you get to argue with somebody, that's the first thing they're going to say. Girl, you will send that smell like blood. And boys, watch y'all watch stuff. Because, baby, I'm telling you, boys can get names too. You come to school smell like piss, must. You will be called musty and you will be called pissy. And, baby, let, let you and the girl get in an argument. Baby, that girl wearing you cat raggedy at them boys. They ain't really stunned that. They talking about your shoes. Who cares about shoes? But them girls, baby, them girls against them boys' arguments, 
it go hard. I'm telling you, the girl will call you pissy so quick and keep saying it until you about ready to fight her. But that's it, though. Like, so make sure, you know, 7th grade, 6th grade, you know, when you start really developing, keep yourself up to par because that name or whatever, it will stick with you in high school. It will move over. Um, let me think. 7th grade, what else? In 7th grade, you know, you get to start reading. What school I got to in 7th Oh, I went to like it. But in 7th grade, you will start, like, reading more books as a class you will start taking more of your tests and all that so i mean in seventh grade you get to choose if you want to be in a pre-ap or a regular basically so you'll get to choose whether you want to be with the regular kids that you know move at a regular pace or you want to be in a pre-ap like i was because i can't do all that slow stuff i'm sorry I mean, I, I may not know everything, but baby, that slow stuff ain't for me because I can know stuff. But yeah, that's when you get to choose whether you want to be in pre-AP or regular. Eighth grade year, I can't stress this enough, y'all. Eighth grade year, you are the head of the school, the little school, wherever you at. Eighth grade year, you are the head. Everybody will look up to you. You will probably have a lot of little brothers, little sisters in the little school that look up to you, come to you for, like, advice or whatever, or how they feel. And that's, like, how it is. Like, you will have, like, them people, oh, hi. Like, they look up to you. Like, you are, like, they model. I don't know why, but that's how you are because you know you're older, taller, prettier. Like, you're developed, basically, in eighth grade. Heck, I know I'm putting... <laughs> Y'all, I ain't gonna embarrass my friends like this, but I'm gonna embarrass. Eighth grade, I'm put y'all up there. Eighth grade, I mean, I, we was, we was okay. I mean, but eighth grade, you would not be all that cute. Like, you probably look back in ninth grade and be like, oh, baby, we was dusty. <laughs> Honey, because that's what me and my friends, we look back, we was like, mm, why did we do that? Like, some days I should, I should just not even put that on. But that'll be how you look at yourself. So make sure in eighth grade you set your a found a model basically. I ain't gonna say a foundation. Cause the foundation will start in sixth grade if you wanna be fast. And then you know that model in eighth grade is gonna be you a fast <laughs> heifer. But yeah, and eighth grade you basically are a statue now. What you are in eighth grade will be what you are. If you are a fast little girl, or a, what you call boys, a little thought boy, you will be a thought boy and a fast girl in ninth grade, in 10th grade, in 11th grade, in college. That's just who you are. Now, I mean, if you, you choose to change, that's a difference. You could change, but your name will never change. And that's just how it is. Make you some... I wouldn't say teacher friends because that sounds like you being a teacher pet. But make you a teacher friend, basically, that you can, you know, call when you're in ninth grade. You need, a, um, you need a person that you can come to, like, for a job application in ninth grade or tenth grade. Make sure you could, like, have teachers that you go to in eighth grade. Because I'm telling you, people will remember you from your eighth grade year. They remember what you look like. Oh, 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 Gianna. Oh, yeah, I remember her. Oh, yeah, she was nice, but she didn't do that much. You know, she's cool people. like, that's what some of my teachers probably can say. Because I just, I was never that little fast little heifer. Or that little, you know, nothing like that. I was settled. I still am settled. But, yeah, like. That's basically the public service announcement. What you are when you enter middle school is what you will be when you are grown. Or when you are in 8th grade, ninth grade, up. Sorry to say it. And what else? Oh, school relationships in middle school, they may last. 
May. It's like a a zero point four chance they would last. It may last. Never know. But in middle school, keep keep what you have to yourself. Heck, I know I'm basically speaking for myself because I still got what I have. But keep what you have to yourself because, baby, you start popping and dropping and stroking and fucking and all that up in middle school. Baby, folks will not want you in high school. I mean, they may want you, but it's because you're just going to be like, dang, you were that young. Like, what? That's how people will look at you like, child, you was a baby still. I mean, you still a baby in high school, but child, you a baby. Like, what are you doing to yourself? But, yeah, if you're a boy or a girl, keep what you have to yourself. But I'm telling you, please, because that's the only way, you know, you're going to be able to survive through school. And teachers, let me tell you about them teachers in middle school. This really teaches you everything. You bring your mess to school, it will get back to the teachers. I don't care what it is. You tell your little friends about what you and Peter did. You and Peter business will come back to the teachers. And then when the teachers pull you to the side, don't be like, oh, how did you know? I'm telling you, news come back. News come back like this. Don't start nothing that you are not ready for in middle school. But yes, I kid y'all not. Don't, don't, don't be that little, don't be that girl that always had drama in middle school. It will follow you, and you will be known as, oh, she always got drama. Oh, she messy. Nobody like messy folks. I'm sorry. If you messy, you you gotta go hang out with messy people, and y'all just y'all look a mess. So y'all are messy like together. So nobody really gonna bother with y'all. I mean, people gonna bother with y'all, but you know, you're messy. So it's just like, ill. Like you're messy. Like messy people are not. One more thing about middle school. Probably a couple more things, but this is a major thing. People are going to change up on you. They are. I'm telling y'all this from experience. I'm not heard about none of it. I could give two flying. I couldn't, or I could, I couldn't give two flying flips about half of the people in middle school that I talked to or was buddies with. I don't care about them. Y'all yeah, can ask them. I don't care about them. But please, if you're in eighth grade, seventh grade, don't go to the next grade expecting the same friends. You will not have them. They will not be there for you. They will not. You will find your true friends probably in high school. Ninth grade year, your true friends probably will be there. Tenth grade, you'll really figure them out. Because, you know, if they leave from ninth grade, baby, they're just not going to be there. And basically, your senior year, you sure will figure them out. But, you know, that's in my freshman advice video. I'm going to tell you all about, more about that. But, yes, like, and when you in eighth grade and making your class schedule for your ninth grade year, please. Please choose what you can do. Don't don't be like me, y'all. I'm I'm gonna tell y'all I'm gonna tell y'all my schedule that I chose for myself in eighth grade that I hate. English one pre AP. Um I had health and P biology, geometry P A P, A P US history. I'm talking about like a college course class, AP U.S. History, advanced, AP is advanced placement, college, you have to take a test for it, AP Psychology, and Spanish too. Half of them classes I set for myself eighth grade year, Ge um, geometry I set for myself basically because I took um, algebra one in ninth, I mean eighth grade. So, I said half of that stuff for myself. But, baby, them AP classes don't do it to yourself if you are not smart. And I, I don't care how smart you think you is. If you are not intelligent and motivated and you can stay, like, motivated and do all your work and your projects and all the reading and the listening and the notes and all that. Don't take that AP class. 
don't do it. Because I'm telling you, I said, I don't even know what I thought. Because in eighth grade, I guess you're thinking like, oh, I'm going to be in class with older people. You are, but uh, older people don't get you no good grades. Baby, it will mess up your whole, like, everything. Your GPA, your everything. Like, I'm going to tell y'all how I came out of my AP U.S. History class with an 80-something. Only way I did that was because she had a ticket reward thing. Like, if you got 75 tickets, you could drop a low test grade. I dropped, what? it was some type of test grade I dropped that I had, like, a 60-something on. And it just brought my whole grade up. Like, I had, like, a 95 in there once I dropped it. But every class, I can't promise y'all every class gonna have a little reward system. But let me tell y'all right now, in eighth grade, if you want straight A's, don't. Your best bet is probably to take regular classes. I know it's not challenging enough, but if you want to keep your GPA and all that, take a regular class. I mean, take PE and health. Do your stuff, take regular classes. That's how you would do it. Think of eighth grade taking your little core classes as applying for your job you don't want to apply for no job that's going to give you low pay you want to apply to a job that's going to give you you know a better pay so don't apply to no classes that's going to give you or you are more expected to get low grade because you know you think it's oh challenging oh harder no don't do that to yourself i'm telling you keep your stress level Low, stay pretty, keep your wrinkles and pimples off your face by taking the regular classes. Or, I mean, pre AP not even hard, but take the classes that you can take that are easy to you. Because them AP classes ain't it. I really think that's it on my middle school advice. You know, I have been through middle school. So my advice is valid. It's not like I'm a fifth grade telling y'all middle school advice. I ain't never been to middle school. But middle school will be fun. I promise you. If you make it fun. Now if you make it a lot and you do the most. It's not going to be fun for you personally. But middle school. Mentally. Physically. is fun. You know it's easy. As long as you you know. Have basically a life plan for yourself. It's going to be fun and easy. Like, 6th grade, you probably going to still want to be a dancer. By 8th grade, you at least need to have an idea of something you want to be when you grow up. Because, baby, ninth grade, you'll be lost. But, you know, make sure you really set yourself up for success. And that goes into, like, a lot, even the little, you know, being fast and sixth grade and then same now. Set yourself up for success. I kid you not, you do not want to be that person. I'm telling you, just don't, though. I'm not even saying, like, you know, it's a bad thing, but it's not a good thing, so... Don't set yourself up for failure. And, you know, I'm going to tell y'all the truth. So, if you got an older sister that's going in ninth grade or that's in high school, tell her to watch my next video on Thursday because it's going to be good. So, yeah, y'all. Thank you for watching my video. I hope... <coughs> thank you for watching my video. I hope that y'all really enjoyed it. And don't forget to like... And subscribe and click that post notification bell to be notified every single time I post. And you know what? I kind of want y'all to comment. Comment some advice. How was your middle school year? Mine was actually good. Perfect, really. I mean, I never had an issue, you know, much with middle school. I mean, it was fun. I enjoyed it. So go ahead and comment, like, you know, how was your experience? Give, give the little kids some advice, like, some they need. Don't be giving her no mess because I will not post your comment on there. Or I will have it deleted because if you give my folks mess, I'm a... It's okay. I, I don't even deal with ignorance. But baby, I will swoop. Delete your comments. 
So yeah, thank y'all for watching my video and I hope y'all stay tuned for the next one. Bye. Yeah, that'll. Hey, uh. Chase the money, chase the money, chase the money.